It is very hard to describe the noise in your head to other people, and extremely difficult for a doctor to diagnose it. YourTinnitus.com brings you the first objective tool for measuring and tracking your tinnitus. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the testing process. First, we'll go to My Evaluations, and you'll see a list of tests that you've taken in the past and their reports, as well as have the opportunity to start a new test. We click on Start Test, and we will open up the tinnitus testing application. This test takes approximately 30 minutes to go through. You have to do the entire test in one session, so make sure you have enough time. If you need to stop, you'll have to restart from the beginning, but you won't have to purchase another test. There are five major steps in this uh, examination. The first step involves calibrating your computer. The second step involves some simple questions about your tinnitus. In step three, we evaluate your hearing levels. Step four evaluates the pitch of your tinnitus. And step five will generate a, a personalized report of your tinnitus. And compare your tinnitus against the patients that were studied in the clinical trials at McMaster University, where they developed this application. The first thing we're going to do is calibrate our computer's volume, which will be the basic point of calibration for the rest of the test. After this step, we will not be modifying the volume controls of our computer any longer. So we play this sound, and we want to adjust the volume on our computer until we can just barely hear that sound. Then we go to the next step. We're asked to classify our tinnitus into one of three types, either tonal, ringing, or hissing. Mine is hissing, so I will select this type. Now we in, need to indicate where in our head or which of our ears we tend to hear this sound. Left ear, right ear, or both. In my case, it's both ears. Next, we want to indicate whether the tinnitus is steady or whether it's pulsating. My tinnitus is steady. Now, from this point forward, we want to be very careful not to adjust the volume of our computers. We only want to make volume adjustments with the buttons in the testing application. What we want to do is now adjust for each of these different frequency sounds, adjust the volume until we can just begin to hear it and we adjust the volume with these two buttons here. This sound made a little louder. This next sound, I can turn it down a little bit. And on the last sound on this page, I've got to raise it a little bit. On to the next page. Again, we're reminded to not change the volume of our computer and just use the plus and minus buttons to adjust volume. And again, we want to adjust these, the volume until we can just begin to hear this sound. I'll lower this one back up. Okay. And there's one more page of three different frequencies we're going to make this adjustment for. And the last one. Okay, so now we've measured our hearing levels across different frequencies. We go on to the next step. Again, we're reminded to not change the volume of our computer and only change the volume using the plus and minus buttons. Now we want to 
adjust the volume until it matches the sound of our tinnitus across each of these different sounds. So again, we're going to adjust the volume until it matches the sound that we, the volume we hear in our tinnitus. This one's lower. This one about there. Okay. Again, four more sounds. Again, I'm reminded not to change the volume of the computer. Oops, I need to play it. Okay, that about matches the volume of my tinnitus. This one's a little louder. I'm going to lower it. Now this, of course, I am running through this step fairly quickly because I've done this many times. You should take care as you go through these steps and make sure you're matching as closely as you can to the volume of your tinnitus. And the last three, the last page and the last three sounds for this step of the process. And I listen to the sound and adjust the volume until it matches the volume of my tinnitus. Next stage, I want to rate each of these sounds as to how similar it is to my tinnitus. And I rate it on a scale from not at all to identical. And I indicate how similar it is by moving this triangle up and down. Again, please don't adjust the volume of your computer at all during this process. So we play the sound, and that one's mm, not very similar. Now nah, that one's not like it at all, so I leave this at the bottom. Two more sounds. It's somewhat similar. Now nah, we're getting closer. There are six pages of sounds we need to rate. A little bit less. Not similar at all. Mm, now we're getting close. Maybe a little closer in this one. That's pretty similar to my tinnitus. And the last one, stage six of six. Uh, play. That's pretty similar as well. And now we're done with the evaluation process. And we're generating uh, a report about my individual tinnitus, comparing my uh, tinnitus to the patients who were studied in clinical trials at McMaster University. This report takes a few minutes to a few seconds to generate, so we wait listen, for uh, 10 or 15 seconds while that's getting generated. And click here to view the results of your test. Okay, so we click on that link, and here's my personalized report of my tinnitus, comparing my results to the clinical trials done at McMaster University as well. And there's a lot of very interesting and useful information in this report. In addition to, if we go back to my evaluations, in addition to this report, you can see that I now have my report is now available to me here. I can view the report or I can also download an audio file 
of the sound that was most similar to my tinnitus. If you need to let your doctor know this, know about the sound, or want to let your spouse know what it is that's driving you crazy, this, uh, this sound is very useful, as is the report itself, which is an objective measure of your tinnitus. So that's a quick overview of the uh, your tinnitus, tinnitus evaluation process. I hope that's helpful.